Since ancient times, the Japanese have believed that a life force resides in all creations. Valuing and caring for the things we use, a zero waste life. Pointing the way to better living for a new era. the southern Japanese island of Okinawa. Blessed with warm weather year round, it is a land rich in nature. In a village outside the city lies a secluded workshop. This is glassblower Matsumoto Sakai. Before any work gets done, he must perform a certain task. Breaking bottles. Used bottles collected from eating establishments and private homes are his raw material. ゴミとして出たものを資源としてもう一回作り直してきれいで暮らしの中に置いておきたいものに作り変えることで長く大事にしてもらえる。すると、ゴミは減るから。<笑> The broken bottles are melted in a 1300 degrees Celsius furnace. The molten glass is then wrapped around a metal tube for blowing. This is where his true skill shines through. He blows air into the pipe. In this moment, the glass is reborn. Continually adding more glass and reheating, the piece gradually takes shape. Gifo的にはもう世界中どこでやってるガラスでもみんな同じことをやってるんで。Okinawan glass craft, known as Ryukyu glass, is said to have started about 110 years ago. The Second World War was a major turning point. In 
In 1945, Okinawa was the site of fierce fighting, and nearly 25% of the population lost their lives. Under US occupation after the war, a decimated Okinawa faced serious supply shortages. At that time, the local glass blowers came across drink bottles thrown out by American servicemen. They gathered them and melted them down to make blown glass. Matsumoto continues to use discarded bottles, carrying on in the spirit of his fellow craftsmen who lived through those difficult times. This glass he calls sea color was made to resemble the seas of Okinawa. Sold at souvenir shops as Ryukyu glass, Matsumoto's work is gaining popularity. これからものづくりしていく中でリサイクルってすごく大きい要素になっていくと思うんですよね。物を無駄にしない。できるだけ生まれたものを社会の中で循環させていくっていうのはすごく意味があること。Matsumoto is breathing new life into these discarded bottles. One piece in particular is made in the hopes that those who use it will do so for a long time to come. Dewdrop. This piece features a large air bubble trapped in the base. Its production requires extremely delicate technique. Adding another layer of glass traps the bubble in place. Adjusting his force to avoid bursting the bubble, he carefully blows in more air.
、配便きれいでしょっていう、この厚みがあっても透明だし、でしかもこう泡入って、なんかキラキラするし、うん、そのきれいさを見せたいっていう感じ。Matsumoto has worked to eliminate waste since he first opened his studio. But some scrap is always left over. It's been a constant challenge to make full use of every bit of glass he collects. With this in mind, he visits a facility that treats industrial waste. Here, his glass scrap will be further recycled. It's crushed down into pieces three millimeters or smaller in size. This recycled sand will mainly be used to reinforce water pipes and for paving roads. <laughs> 今日、オーナーのテーブルウェアストアが来たのは、ファーラーを買うことができるスタジオを訪れた。彼は来たのは、ファーラーを買うことができるスタジオまあでも多分ねえっ、ー、と継ぎすぎないようにとかって思うと少なすぎるんで。Through the exchange of opinions, Matsumoto fleshes out his idea. In the not too distant future, another gem is sure to result from their efforts. その戦争を経て始まったガラス琉球ガラスなんで結構苦難から始まってる歴史だと思うんで綺麗なものを作ることでそのリサイクルそのものの価値を上げたいというかそんなことも思います。